certain weeds can choke out or take nutrients from your other some things you're trying to grow. We as you know humans and and farmers, we think weeds are bad. We think weeds are just like the end all, and because that's gonna make our plants that we do want to produce less, because the weeds are taking up all the nutrients. We gotta realize that in nature doesn't know what weeds are. There's there's a purpose for every every weed. And just because it might take a little bit of nutrients from what you're trying to grow, it's not gonna necessarily kill whatever you're growing. You might just have a little bit less yields. And if you're not growing for profit or for a big market or anything, um, having a little bit of weeds is not the end of the world. Some weeds can be worse than others, obviously, uh, but the weeds can tell you a lot about what's actually going on in your soil and the soil needs in order to produce a lot of biology and a lot of uh, good, healthy soil. So weeds aren't necessarily a bad thing. Thinking about them as being a resource. So they can tell you what's going on in the soil, meaning some things weeds will pop up have certain purposes. For example, grasses pop up often first in order to stabilize a newly manicured or a newly damaged bit of a plot of land. So it's trying to the roots are trying to stabilize the the ground. So it's not it has, it has a purpose. The other thing is like for example um, stinging nettle. You see that usually you have a calcium deficiency in your in your soils. So what it's doing is that it's, it's growing and then as it, when it decomposes it's going to add calcium back to the soil. The other way the weeds aren't necessarily terrible is that it's creating biology in the soil as I mentioned and what that's doing is creating life in the soil and the only way for other plants to grow is with life in the soil and a lot of biology. Um, so we have to just kind of switch our mentality of we think weeds are really bad. A lot of weeds are first of all edible and can be used as for medicinally and for teas and things. That being said, there are some that can choke out your plants and like like crabgrass, for example. You have to identify the weeds in order to realize what's happening. And uh, from there, you can take uh, preventive actions. We just make sure that the weeds don't get too big. You sometimes want to uh, at least cut them or pull them out before they get, before they start to go to flower and they get really like strong and witty and they'll become like a fire timber or a fire hazard after that. So cut them down before um, it goes to flower or goes to seed. 